Let him go. Let him go, man. All right, let them All right, go. Let let's go, man. Check it, man. Got him in the building. Yeah, man. How does it get, nigga? Hey, V. Uh, Line him up. Look, back in that action. Back to these packages. Back to kidnapping. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I got, a, I got a question. So, talking back, say, if you had to advise the younger you, because I know there's a lot of kids out here who are still in the streets and very talented where music is concerned but won't leave the streets alone to pursue their music, to pursue their dreams. Because you can't just make the money right off the bat where music is concerned, but when you go to the street, you know, you know what I mean? Right. So how can you advise them to follow their dreams? That's real. Good you, question. Oh, that's a tough one. Because, um, I mean... It, you just got to believe in yourself. It, it, and when I say believe, it's like you really got to believe that one day this shit going to work. And then you're going to have a whole lot of obstacles. That's one reason why I went to the feds, though. I'm going to keep it real. Because at that point in time, I tried to do music without hustling, without selling drugs. I tried to do music. You know, and a lot of, a lot of, a lot of trials and tribulations hit me tough, you know. And I, I, I can admit now, right now, who I am today, mm -hmm. I wasn't strong enough. So, I mean, what's up? You scared? Scared of what? <laughs> He'll drop you the beat right now. Yeah, I'm better get, let me get this beat. Hold on. You right. can look at the nigga and tell Yeah, I can look at Okay, here we go. We back on this. Let's go. Let him go. Let him go, man. All right, let that nigga go. Let's go, man. Check it, man. Got him in the building. Yeah, man. How does it get, nigga? Hey, V. Uh, Line him up. Look, back in that action. Back to these packages, back to kidnapping. Yeah. Niggas ain't bad at they acting. I don't fuck with none of that shit, so don't ask me. Police release LeBron, sit then try to lock me. Talking to you is full of me. I was North Tower, bang with some G's, free to start a beat. You all the way Bobby with me. See, ready, get ready, shit fit to get deadly. I set this shit up with bro T. I ain't talk to Dunda, I'm a bitch, I'm the Dunda. Dun Dada the gunner, who hotter than me? 32 shot, got extension, the bean came with it. I got it tucked down on my jeans. Not a probation, still got that eraser. Don't play me, you'll put your bitch ass on the screen. Every yeah, morning I play chess with a murderer. He say, look, gunner, you you just like me. I ain't get caught, but he just got convicted. Remind Diamond ain't doing no snitching. Niggas say that they want money. I hear drop thug and get jammed. Your real gon' squeal. I pray the real really get a appeal. Man, keep it silent. I know how you feel. Man, hold up, man. Man, hold up, man. You a damn you fool, feel, man. Yeah, that type of shit. <laughs> man, you just said the rap, bro. Yeah, Low D said, let the nigga out the that cage. Shit, let man, the nigga go, man. That's all right. You side. make that level go over, man. You in that in yeah. that? So you was in the uh, projects? Yes, sir. Wow. How was it like? Like I know we had a couple of people on here to tell some stories about Stop Six, Rupert Circle, Fish Trap. Like how was it over there? What was the thing that stuck out? I, I've heard stories from people being shot in their legs and all that. Like all every like a lot of shootings and stuff going on. How was it coming up over there for you? Was it just a lot of As drugs? A kid. You know how was it? Uh, <clears throat> see, my mom, my mama was. Even though she did what she did, she wanted us to stay out of the streets. But, you know, when you go outside, and I witnessed my first murder in E. Dallas. You okay. Know, nine oh, years old, coming yeah. outside, and it's like, ah, he really did, you know. At the time, it don't hit you, but as you get older, it affects you. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you're seeing more shootings, you're seeing more killings. So it's like, damn. There might be somebody close to you, too, who got killed. Yeah, uh, a guy named Daddy from E. Dallas, you know. When he died, it was it was like an all to the hood, you yeah. know. So it was like, damn. When Dude did died, it was like, oh yeah, this shit for real. You know what I'm saying? So he had no choice but to embrace it though, you know. So, uh, shit, I, I feel face first and the shit, game bang. Wow, I mean, you know, you you one of those guys. Like I said, uh, I heard you here recently. I didn't know you before, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. but I just heard you here recently. Uh, I heard you. I, I seen you do a freestyle. My son is 28, so he's sending me all this <laughs> stuff, bro. Okay. And he's sending me this stuff. He see. He, he said, "Man, Dad, you gotta check this one out. You gotta check this one out." Cause he know I'm not tapped in like that. Okay. He know I'm not checking for you. But at the end of the day, he checking. So he calling everybody. I think he called. You had a manager. Your manager was, I think it was uh, Cornelius. And you, you, he called him. He was like, "Man." Uh, I want to get Gunnamese on the show. This happened a few times, but okay. I don't be know. I just know he tell me all the stuff that he right, was right, doing. Right. But anyway, and then sh another nigga named Show call and try to. But it, it was just times when people try and get you on the, on the platform because you had a dope style. Right, you right. know what I'm saying? Right. So I heard that. I heard the freestyle, the uh, the the outside freestyle uh -huh. by Bobby Billion. You ripped that. <laughs> You know what I do with them heaters? Yeah. Only one of my ops who hide in a box, you know what I'ma do when I see them? Yeah. Calico, they go and eat them, hit them and leave them. Who does they get back, leak back? Uh, um, shout out, Bobby. You got a lot of, uh, the way that you, the way that your 
sound is, the way that you ripped the mic, what inspired that? Oh, uh, the streets. I mean, I just rap what I live on everything that I did, everything that I went through. So it's like, that's the way I vent, you know, I don't talk a lot. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.